Q&A dialogue in Japanese. Okay, so how do you introduce yourself or how do you state your name when asked? For example, question. You would say, Ano shitsure, nani ga moshimasu ka? Which it means, uh, excuse me, what is, uh, what are you called? Another form would be, Simasen, unami wa nan desu ka? Which is, excuse me, what is your name? Two ways you can answer. One, nani moshimasu, which means, I'm called Nancy. Or, name wa nanshi desu, my name is Nancy. Question two, when asked about you or your ethnicity. Question, uh, two ways you can ask, or well, actually three couple ways you can ask. Um, a native speaker will probably say this. They say to me, they say this to me a lot. So, for example, Nanshi san wa Amerika jin desu ka? Nihon jin desu ka? All too familiar standard form, right? So that's actually the standardized form in the Japanese for busy people lesson, which you know most are taught. But sometimes, you know, in conversations with a native Japanese person or a fellow peer who is not native but speaks Japanese, they would ask me something like this: "Nanshi-san wa no Amerikan kana, Nihonjin kana dakara," which is probably why they're asking, basically wondering what nationality I am. So my answer is. Straight up, not even American. It's Cambodia in this. If they ask me, you know, where I was born, of course it is here in America. But I still say I'm Cambodian because that is my ethnicity. Another would be wondering about language. So they'll ask me like, Nashi san wa ego shabarimasu ka? Or, hanashimasu ka? Or, wakarimasu ka? Which is, do I. Can I chat in English? Can I speak in English? And can I understand English? Now, if it was Japanese, it would sound something like this. Nashi-san wa nihongo shaberimasu ka? Or, Nashi-san wa nihongo hanashimasu ka? Or, Nashi-san wa wakarimasu ka? My answer would be, Eigo to nihongo shaberimasu. Or, Eigo to nihongo hanashimasu. Or, Eigo to Nihongo wakarimasu. Now, if I say that I can, my sentence phrase would be totally different. So, therefore, I would say, Eigo to Nihongo shabemasu. Okay, that's one. Or, I could say, Eigo to Nihongo shabedekiru. The other would be for hanashimasu, which is the same thing, I could say, hanashi dekiru. Or to understand, wakarimasu, which is to wakuru or wakate. Okay. Another question is basically where I live. So they ask, Nanshi san wa doku e sundemasu ka? So where do I live? My answer is, Las Vegas sundemasu. Now, if I were, now if they're asking where I lived before versus where I live now, I would say, uh, I would say San Francisco から今 Las Vegas 住んでいます So basically, I lived in San Francisco, you know, from San Francisco, but now I live in Las Vegas. Another question is my age. Um, they would ask, Nanshi-san, 年歳なんですか What is your age? Well, basically, they would just say. Nancy Sanwa Nensai is an indication for、uh, Nancy, your age. And it's very common in Japanese to just not say a full on phrase, it's very short. So I, all I would say is my answer would just be instead of saying like Kashiwa and my age and then this, it would just be Sanjuichi Nensai, this. Or I would just say Sanjuichi Nensai. I don't even add this in the end. What this is, however you want to say it, the suffix wise. Okay, so my next, the next question would be where do I work? There's so many ways to ask where you work, you'd be surprised how many, you know, different dialogues or different phrases you can actually ask based on someone's work. Because there's two words, shugoto, which is 
work and had the Raku, which is job. So, for example, um, Nashi san wa doko e shikoto ikimasu ka? So, where do I work? And that would be Nashi san wa doko e hatoraku arimasu ka? Or, it's, you know, to drop the doko, they would just ask, hatoraku arimasu ka? Which means, do you got a job? My answer would be, um, two or three. Three, four, five ways basically. It's either Macy's department no shikoto ikimasu, meaning I go to work at the Macy's department. Or when asked if I do have a job, all I have to say is hataraku arimasu. Now, if I don't have a job, I would say uh, shikoto ikimasen. I don't go to work. If I don't have a job, I would say hataraku arimasen. Now, when I get that answer, they would ask. Nashi san wa doshiki no shikoto ikimasen ka? Or, Nashi san wa hatoraku arimasen ka? And doshite? You know, so shite doshite, or wonder why. So, my answer would be one of two. It would either be yamemashita dakara, or kibeni dakara. Yamemashita meaning that I either quit, or yiben, uh, yiben, kiben, whatever, means I got fired. Um, or laid off, which is what happened. I got laid off. The other question is the ability to, to teach Japanese, and a lot of people ask me this. If I could or I would, you know, either in Japanese or English. So they would say, Nanji san wa nihongo oshimasu ka? Or they would say, you know, for a Japanese native speaker who would be interested in, you know, <laughs> actually employing me to teach. In Japan English, they would say, Nashi san wa ego oshimasu ka? Meaning, do I teach Japanese or English? My answer is, Hai, Nihongo oshimasu. Or, I could say, Hai, Nihongo ego oshimasu. Or, I could say both, Hai, Nihongo to ego wo oshimasu. Okay, so the ability to write. So they would ask me, Nashi san wa kanji to hiragana to katakana to maji kaku dekimasu ka? Which means, Nancy, do you write? Can you write in, in kanji or hiragana, katakana, or maji? And my answer would be, Hai, kanji to hiragana to katakana to maji kaku dekimasu. Which means, I can write them all. Well, Muri, kanji, muri, because I um, have a difficulty with kanji. I'm, I'm getting, to, getting a hand to it, but yes. Um, the last question here is about where did I study, either English or Japanese. So this is this is interesting. Uh, a lot of people will be surprised, or not. I don't know. Um, question is, Nashi san wa doko de ego o? First of all, I already know how to speak English, so that's no brainer, right? America, of course. I grew up here. Um, but the other question is referring to the Japanese language. So they would ask, Nashi san wa doko e nihongo o benkyo shiteru no desu ka? So how do I know Japanese? How do I speak? How do I, where do I learn to speak Japanese, right? So I say, Atashi wa. Basically, I learned Japanese in San Francisco, Japan town, Sokogakuen, where I gained a certificate in, for completing intermediate classes, which is just enough, sufficient enough for me to mentor in Japanese, but not fully teach as a full-time teacher. Um, therefore, this Q&A were questions asked by students, and I've tried my best to answer most of them, so that they know who I am. I don't call myself Nanshi Sensei. I don't take on that title, I'm just Nancy. So I let my students either decide what they want to call me. Um, I'm good with Nanshi San, which is fine. So basically, well, the story of how I'm mentoring in Japanese is that I got a referral from a friend who referred me to the UNLV campus on Japanese language courses, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. And I went ahead and I queried and I ha I lost my certificate because I moved to Los 
Oh, I got cut off. So I lost my certificate while moved, when I moved to Las Vegas, and therefore, upon the query at UNLV, I needed to provide the certificate in order to be able to meet, you know, do a paid mentor uh, teaching position over there. So that's what I did, and I got that within like the last week. So here I am. I can't believe I'm teaching like Japanese to American students, and I've been approached with. You know, if there were a lot of Japanese uh, um, people, like you know, the native instructors was amazed at how young I was, and they even asked me if I was interested in teaching English in Japan. But that's a very long process because you have to not only provide certificates and a degree to step into Japan, but you also have to wait. You go, go on a wait list to get a visa to actually move to Japan, live. And work there, so it's, it's a really hard process. So it's something to, for me to think about in the future, maybe. But I think I'm comfortable here in America because I'm. I mean, Japan is great, but it's a little homophobic for me because、uh, everyone is com- like, I guess that's the word. Everyone is like, everyone is Japanese over there, and here is diverse. So I prefer to stay in America. Um, I love to visit Japan again. You know, I visited before with my best friend、um, a long time ago. So anyway, so that is the doshite naze o nani ka of me from my students who have you know emailed me questions on how to ask a question and how to answer based on those questions that I've discussed. Which is great conversation breakers in、uh, Japanese language classes and in English, either way. So same in America. But、um, the other thing I'd like to address too is the Japanese gestures. They're very important as well when it comes to like you know speaking to a Japanese native because unlike American society here where we're very expressive and open, Japanese people are very、um, they're very contained, you know, and restrained. With their expressive selves, for example, we just can't go up to a Japanese person and shake their hand or hug them. There is the proper bow, you know, and、um, so many, so many cultural things that we need to learn, be, you know, on top of just learning the language. So hopefully, this、uh, video will give you insights if you are one of my students. And、uh, next time, just g- give me an email and. Um, let me know what else you want me to, you know, put in a video for you, so that'll help you learn、um, the language better. Okay, all right. You know how I always say, "Ah, after dinner, gamba teo." Bye.